Welcome back everyone. So this is part one for the onboarding UI Figma to React native series. So we have our design here, which I'll link to in the description. You could find the Figma file and I'll link a video as well where I design it. So you could design it yourself if you'd like. And here I have VS code with an empty project that I haven't set up yet. So let's do that right now is the first thing we're gonna do. So let's start with NPX react native. And we'll call this uh, init, sorry about that, onboard UI. Now that we've got it installed, you can see it here, onboard UI. And you'll also see another project, food app UI, that you could find on my channel. Uh, it's in another playlist. It's the one we did before this onboard UI. So let's get this app running. So let's jump into the onboard UI folder. And in here, we'll do npm run iOS. All right, we got our app up and running. This is just the template app that React Native gives us. And first thing we're gonna wanna do is set up the fonts that we have in our Figma design. So here we have Open Sans. I found a resource online to help me go through this. So go to Google Fonts, look up Open Sans, click this one, and we're gonna need, actually let's just download all of them. Uh, download family. Now let's open the zip. And we're going to create a new folder in here called assets. Or actually it's going to be in, uh, yeah, yeah. So assets in the root folder. In here we'll create a new folder called fonts. And we'll dump them in. Now I don't need all of them, so we can delete some of them. I think I only need bold and semi-bold. So open sans bold and semi-bold. And what about these? These are also semi-bold. So let's delete everything else. So I've got bold, regular, and semi-bold. I left regular in there just in case we need it. So the next step now before we can actually test it is we need to set up the React Native config file. So just copy that create a new file in the root folder with that title. And in here, we're gonna copy paste what they put in, but we have to make sure to update the path to where our fonts are, which is assets fonts. Save that. Now we're gonna have to run npx react native link. That's gonna link our packages. And it seems like mine were already linked and we'll rerun npm run iOS to rebuild it. Now let's close this. Let's go to app.js and we'll scroll to one of the titles, section title. Let's go find that. And we'll set font family to open sans and let's do bold. Now we should see some text change. There we go. And the fonts are good to go. Next thing we'll do is set up our colors. So let's go back to the assets folder, write colors and in here create a file called colors.js. And here we'll have a constant called colors, which is just gonna be an object and we'll export it at the bottom. Now let's go get the colors that we need and that you could find in the Figma file. So this is just gonna be black. So let's get one called black. And the next one is going to be this gray. We've also got this blue here, which is the same for these two. So let's copy that. And this one we'll call it, um, could call it the primary color or, you know what, let's just call it blue. The blue that we'll need, good. And I'm gonna add three extra zeros up here. Save that. Now let's go back to app.js. Let's import that file. So import colors from assets colors colors and let's go to section title again and let's change that one to blue so here we'll remove that and we'll change it to colors dot blue save it and we could see that our colors did actually change you could see the slight difference Next step and final step, we're almost there guys, is go back in the assets folder and create a new folder called images. 
that's where we're going to put all our three images that we have here. So let's do that right now. First thing we got to do is we got to group them together. So I'll copy paste them, move them over here, not to edit the design, group them together, which means now they're one and we could export them together like that. So group desktop. Sure. Let's do the same thing for these and the last one too. Once that's done and you've got them downloaded, and by the way, this can be linked in the description below so you could go download them yourself. You go to your images and you drag them in. So let's give these some better names. So it's gonna be onboard one, onboard two, and onboard three. So the last thing before we finish off this video, let's go test out that the images actually work. So let's import image here from React Native, copy that, and we could just place it wherever really. So I'll just go ahead and place it right here. Image, close that off. And for the source, we're gonna want to have onboard one. So let's copy that. And that's gonna give us an error if we save it because we need to go import the image. So we'll go import onboard one from, it's gonna be assets, images, and onboard onepng Save that, and there we go. That's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. We got all our colors in, we got our images and the fonts in. So now we're actually ready to build out our onboarding flow that we designed here. So in the next video, we're gonna design these three screens using a React Native library, super easy to use. So check that one out. And then we might also get to designing this screen here with this cool little button component. So I'll link those in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more.